Hello everyone, my name is Margaret Changeshi from Lukut Girls High School and my colleague is Ms. Sanjara. Today we will, be, we will be discussing on reception, response and coordination in plants. There are certain terms that are used in this topic such as irritability, stimuli and response. Irritability, this is the ability of an organism to perceive and, and interpret inter, 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 inter and respond to stimuli. For example, the stimulus in the the stimulus is the drawing pain, the receptor, uh, the pain sensories in the skin, the effector are the muscles in the legs, the response is to get up quickly. Stimulus is any change in an external or internal environment that promotes a physiological or behavioral response in an organism. Examples of stimuli include temperature, light, pH, and humidity. Response is the ability to be is the activity provoked by a stimuli in the organism. For example, uh, response. For example, of this response include blinking of eyes, sneezing, and increasing heartbeats. Yes. So we'll have uh, these responses are in form of growth movements or tropism. Tropism is the growth movement of a part of plants in response to an directional external stimulus. Now we have these growth movements are often slow because the growth rate is controlled by plant hormones. These are the auxins. The tropisms are like toxic responses and are named according to stimuli which they evo which evoke them. Types of tropism. We have phototropism. Chemotropism, geotropism, and finally we have hydrotropism. Now, phototropism is the growth curvature in response to direction and intensity of light. Now, shoots have positively phototropic and while roots are negatively phototropic. That simply explains phototropism. And chemotropism is the growth curvature in response to gradient of chemical concentration. An example is shown by a developing pollen tube which grows towards chemicals and secreted by the embryo sac. Geotropism, we have response to gravity. That's geotropism. Uh, in this, roots are positively geotrophic, while shoots are negatively geotrophic. We also have hydrotropism, uh, which refers to curvature in response to, to water or moisture. Plants are positively Hydrotropic. There are certain survival barriers for tropic response. For example, uh, to begin with, we have phototropism. This, uh, this is when exposed leaves in position to maximize light absorb, whereby enhancing photosynthesis. Hydrotropism enables the roots of the plant to seek water. Geotropism enables the plant to grow deep into the soil, thus offering firm anchorage to the plant. Chemotropism enables the pollen tube to grow towards the embryo sac, thereby facilitating fertilization. Well, that simply explains the survival values of tropic responses. Now we're going to move on to response to variety of stimulus. 
Now, these responses can be grouped according to the type of stimulus. They may involve the movement of the whole organism or part, or part of it in response to stimulus. If the movement is towards the stimulus, if the movement is towards the stimulus, then you can say it is a positive response. But away from the stimulus, we can say it's a negative response. Now, examples of this are explained in the following sections of this chapter. Now, the major responses include taxis and tropism, as I said earlier. We've come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I have been Margaret Shangeshi. Mimi Sanjera. Keep it Elimu TV. Watch and learn.